Oh, hi. Boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about me, but I have a fear, a pretty big fear. And that is the fear of boredom. God, you came at just the right time, because let me tell you what, I was bored out of my mind. <laughs> so what better time than now to spice up this weekend with Bob and Brian's hot sauces. That's right, Bob and Brian's. Coming to you all the way from Australia. Now, if you've seen my other reviews of Bob's and Brian's, uh, you know that they've been some pretty tasty, flavorful sauces. I was really expecting uh, a lot more spice, but it's not a bad thing. The sauces have been really good. I was just expecting a little bit more pain, you know? I mean, Australia has this reputation to uphold, and I was really expecting, like, Who's the guy? Crocodile Dundee style sauces. And so far, they've been very friendly sauces, very tame and mild sauces. So anyway, I've been reviewing uh, from the mildest to the most spiciest. And they run just like that. To uh, my friends at Bob and Brian's, this is the next step up in the heat uh, index. Yeah, so here we have British Bulldog hot sauce. A unique blend of seven pod burgundy, ghost, naga mustard, and sajalokia chilies with the added pungency of horseradish, curveball ingredient, and black mustard seeds. So they have these little curveball ingredients that not a lot of other saucers have, and the one of which being golden berries, uh, which is actually a really good addition, one that I've never had in a sauce before. I was kind of working for me. Let's see if this one happens to have any of those signature golden berries in there, shall we? Let's see. Vine ripened tomatoes and pressed. Is that right? Let's a little closer, shall we? Come here, you. All right. It's fine. Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. It's fine. All right. Vine ripened tomatoes impressed. <laughs> I haven't even opened the bottle and I'm already impressed. Oh, waka waka. I'll be here all week. Easy Greens Juice, which is cucumber, apple, celery, pineapple, spinach, kale, fresh orange juice, onions, chilies, carrots, juniper berries, okay, apple cider vinegar, fresh horseradish, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, Celtic sea salt, coconut sugar, toasted black mustard seeds, lime juice, lemon juice, okay. So we have juniper berries in place of golden berries. We have Fresh horseradish. This is going to be cool. Uh, again, these are um, from Australia. So um, what they, you know, what they lack in spice, they've definitely made for, made up for by being unique. So British Bulldog sauce. This one has a lot going on in there and I feel like I can see the horseradish sort of floating around. Uh, all of the sauces have sort of been chunky, a little on the, the meaty side, like there's bits of pepper and seed and pulp in there. This one seems to be a little bit more minced up, minced up a little bit finer, but you can still see flecks of flavor and, and there's still some soul in there. <laughs> All right, British Bulldog hot sauce, huh? Oh, this one's supposed to be the next step up. It smells lovely, oh. Ooh, that smells very mild. Uh, definitely can smell the peppers. Definitely smell the vine ripened tomatoes. I gotta say the tomatoes do come across very fresh in these sauces. Okay, let's see uh, if this guy's bite is as bad as his bark. <laughs> okay, I know. Don't worry, I got my big lot spoon. That's how I hang out here in the living room on a Saturday when I'm uber duber bored. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Oh God. Much, much smoother, much more finely minced than the others. Uh, definitely has a lot of personality in there. Let's see. Is that the spice that I've been looking for? Come on, Bob and Brian's abuse me. Use me. Spicier. Yeah. Got a little kick in there. Oh, yeah, I got a little kick in there. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Gonna let the heat 
do its thing for a little bit on my tongue. Ow, and in my body. I want to be able to tell you, give it time. Just give it time to burn, do its thing. It's a great flavor. These guys have knocked it out of the park with the flavor. Uh, this one is a lot, oh, excuse me. It's definitely spicier. It has a great peppery taste to it. Uh, the horseradish really pulls that out. I'm not sure what the hell a juniper berry tastes like, but I'm sure that added to the deliciousness, <laughs> Ow, the deliciousness of the sauce. That's a really good, good, good sauce. Yeah. Um, very smooth, very clean, <laughs> spicy. I like the label. Label's kind of simple, but really cute at the same time. <laughs> Ow. Um, yeah. All in all, not really burning my mouth all that much. I did get a little droplet on the outside of my face. Oh, ow! And it burns. Um, yeah, I'm feeling it here. As far as in the mouth burn, not too bad. My stomach doesn't agree with it very well. The hiccups, ow, the hiccups are definitely there, but that's just becoming par for the course with me these days. Oh, that was a pretty good sauce. Pretty good sauce. I think, um, Ow, higher end of normal. So if you're one of these normies that enjoy spicy food and impressing your friends without killing yourself, uh, I think this is a good one. Definitely has good kicks, a lot of pepper flavor in there, a lot of natural flavors. <laughs> Definitely taste the pepper, the garlic, the tomatillo, that is not the right word, tomato, and I guess those juniper berries, <laughs> whatever that is. But all in all, I like it. Very good. Very well done. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Very good sauce. I've really enjoyed doing this lineup. So if you're interested in stepping outside of your American comfort zone and um, trying something new, go check out you know, Bob and Brian's. They happily ship to the U.S. And check them out on Facebook, Instagram. These guys are awesome. And please do me a favor. Uh, Give me a like and a subscribe and a share. What the heck? And also let me know like if you have sauces out there that you would like to see me sample because apparently my tolerance is getting higher and higher. That's a damn good sauce. Uh, so far, I would say that this and the Inca Gold are my two favorite in the lineup so far, but we have a few more to go. So thanks for kicking it with me. God bless. Y'all take care.